How's it going everyone? Welcome back to my Dead Space Remake 100% All Collectibles Guide. This is chapter 6 and we are starting off with a node. We're going to show you how to get all the nodes, all the logs, all the schematics, weapon upgrades, weapons, marker fragments, all that good stuff to help you get those achievements and trophies in Dead Space. So this node can be found just before you actually leave medical and also to start a side mission in this uh, level. You want to go back into the cryogenics machine. You can come back here if you've already left medical and grab this, but this will start a side mission for you. So come and grab the tissue sample that's now in the middle of the cryogenics freezer. Okay, so this one is called Premeditated Malpractice Step 1 and 2, and you can track these if you want to. It's up to you. Go and have a look at your side missions in the tracker, and you can uh, choose to track this if you want to but if you just follow along with me we're going back through the chemical lab from the cryogenics room cryogenics being where we started we're heading back this way so you'll probably be familiar with these areas now because you've been here a couple of times just in case you're not though i'll show you the complete route from where we left off last time let's keep going then all the way around the hill. Okay. Down this way. I think this area is called research, but I'm not entirely sure. We're going to need to stasis this door to get through it. Kind of closed on my face. I'm, I'm lucky I didn't take any damage there, to be honest. Something worth mentioning, if you're interested, is I have played through this game on impossible mode. Also doing no damage if you want to go and check that out find that on my channel somewhere all right down we go this is the area that gets quarantined when quarantined when you first enter it one thing that can happen sometimes is necromorphs can kind of just spawn where they feel like sometimes and i think if you go into an area that's supposed to get quarantined when necromorphs are in it it'll get quarantined again i have seen it happen to me in certain areas not in this one in particular but it has happened to me all right, so we're going to go and find Harris's ICU bed now. This is still for premeditated malpractice. So we need to go pretty much back the way we just came. A good chunk of it, at least. I think this is, yeah, this is the same side mission. So we've done one section of it. Now we just need to head back and get this uh, next step completed. It's definitely a big chunk of a collectible but it's fine snow bubble want to help you guys get all those achievements and trophies if you're looking for that 100% completion or the platinum if you're on playstation it's kind of weird that xbox never had that kind of thing the whole achievement for getting all achievements kind of deal i thought like that's a nice touch on playstation but then again Xbox kind of has that whole point system, right? So, you, uh, you kind of get like a score. The more achievements you get, the higher score you get. I guess both have benefits. It's all just down to preference at the end of the day. And then Steam doesn't have any of that, but at least it has achievements. The original game, Dead Space, is that old? That on Steam, it just straight up didn't have achievements? Little bit of trivia there for you. Little bit of IRL lore. But it did have achievements on Xbox. Alright, so now we're getting a node, the second one we've come across in chapter six. Coming back down the corridor that we came through very early on. This is where you find the stasis module in chapter one. You gotta stasis this door to get through it. We're gonna come all the way around here. We're kind of backtracking at this point because there's a lot of uh, doors that we can open now that we've got the chapter two or the level two security clearance. I'll try to work some of those out of the way kind of when we can get to them at the beginning of different chapters. So next up, we've got an audio log, the second one we can get in chapter six called Crosses Log 01. So this one is just next to you as you're heading into hydroponics. You'll find it in the tram station, just sitting on the table here. 
an easy one to miss. So next we've got one of those missable mission logs that everybody loves. You can only get one of these following audio logs on each playthrough. So if you figure out which one you've got, do the other one and then you can complete the list if that's something you're interested in. I mention this every time, but you don't have to complete every audio log in order to get your achievement or trophy. You only need to get 150, and there's a lot more than that throughout the game. But basically, in this area, if you just try and go straight into food storage without using this console you stand in, uh, see me standing at now, you will get one of the audio logs, one of the two you can get, if you go to the um, console first and interact with it twice and then try and go into food storage, you'll get the other audio log. Again, you can only get one of the following two audio logs in each playthrough. So if you want to get them both, you will have to do two playthroughs, basically. But I'll keep repeating myself and sound like a broken record, but you do not need to get both to get any of the achievements or trophies. You will still get them. You can still get that in one playthrough, it's not a problem. If you just follow along with me, you'll probably get that achievement. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't. Okay, so... Weapon upgrade number one is for the Ripper, called the Angled Launcher. Alright. So we're going into this first door on the left, and you've got those things trying to blow on you giggity and then we've got audio log number three which is crosses log number two this one can be found on the wall Security request retrieved. right there all right so now we've got a weapon i'm sort of just starting in the same place here a bunch of times just so there's no confusion as to where i am i could sort of like link a bunch of these collectibles together and just sort of run around in one route but because of people using timestamps i kind of like to just go back to a an area you can easily identify and just work from there each time rather than just going collectible to collectible just so nobody gets confused um so we've got another missable mission log here and when you go to get the first weasel you encounter you want to try and shoot it to get this log if you just go straight up and inject the enzyme, you won't get that log. So, yeah. Alright. So next up, we've got a text log called Corruption. I'm going to use the elevator here and go to floor 3. getting a little lecture from Elizabeth here. I don't like to talk over dialogue. Sometimes I have to. <clears throat> Apologies if that makes you cringe like it does me. Alright, so we're coming to this room with the weasel. The text log is just on the right on the table. Alright, so now we've got a weapon upgrade called the subsonic oscillator. We're back at that elevator we were at earlier. We're going to go to floor two this time. Again, I just like to work in areas that are easily identifiable. Just because of anyone using timestamps, you could come from floor three to floor two to get this one. It's up to you. We are in the same area. But to get this one anyway, we have to come to the shop. So any shop will do. I think this one is for the line gun. It was the line gun that we just picked up, right? Okay, so we're going to get node number three now, and we're coming into West Refrigeration. When you come into this area, you'll get these Exploder Necromorphs coming at you. Make sure you take all of them out. I think there's five in total for you to deal with. Gotta love that upgrade for the Plasma Cutter that keeps doing damage after you've hit them with your shot. Allows you to just stand there like a boss while those guys explode. Alright, so Power Node is right there through the door when you come through this area. Uh, Holt Rig. This one is for the side mission. You are not authorized. Yeah, actually, I should 
make a side note that the upgrade we just got for a gun was actually for the force gun, not the line gun. That's my mistake. Yeah, it's for the force gun. All right, so... When you come into this room and get the weasel, you're going to get a few enemies attacking you in this room, so look out for that. You'll have some infectors and some normal slashers as well. If you hang out in this room for a second, you can deal with the infectors quite easily. I've actually got a really cool idea for a video coming soon that involves the infectors, but I'm sure you'll see it very, very soon. So when you run into this room, you're going to need to get rid of these tendrils. I could not hit that one tendril to save my life. But yeah, once you get rid of all the tendrils that are covering the pathways in this room, the one on the left will be covering a uh, log that you can pick up. So go ahead and grab that. There it is. Holtz rig. Sorted. Alright, so next up we've got another node. Pretty sure this one is dropped by the brute that attacks you when you get to the bottom of this elevator. So down you go. when you get down here just go ahead fight the brute and then get yourself a power node pretty straightforward easy easiest way to kill these guys is just to stasis and get behind them shoot them in the legs seems to work for me okay so next up we've got audio log number four which is crosses log 03 so for this one, we're going to need to get the battery that is at the back of this room. And we need to open up this over here. The marker fragment we're going to collect is also in this room. Before we can use that zero gravity panel or that panel to turn off the gravity, we're going to need to grab this key card that's in this room. I tried to grab that box and smash it, but it just didn't work out for me. I'll just uh, abandon the quest. So I'll grab the battery, stick it in the wall, and then activate the only thing on the circuit breaker, which is the gravity. And then, once that's done, you'll get attacked by a few enemies. Deal with them. Don't want them flapping about while you're trying to use no gravity to your advantage. Alright, so up we go up towards the top level of this area. There's still a couple more enemies around, so be careful. Drop down here, watch out for more enemies. And Elizabeth's log is right here. On the far side. Okay, so next up we've got the marker fragment. I'm starting again from where we put the battery into the socket breaker. Just so you can follow along if you're using timestamps. We're going to come all the way up here. And this is very close to where the visa is in this area. Over here in the back corner of this room. Right there is where the marker fragment is. Okay, so next up we've got our fifth node on this chapter. So we're heading into this area. This is just before a 0G area. Right there on the wall. Next up, we've got a schematic for force energy. This one is a little bit tricky to find because it's kind of wrapped up in all these areas with the tendrils and whatnot in the wall. Come up here, turn off that thing that's spitting electricity everywhere, and you can find the schematic just in this hole in the wall that's down and to the left of that right there. Okay, so next up we've got a text log called Technical Manual. Text log number two. Look out for the Necromorph that attacks you just before you enter this room. It's just above those engines engines that are malfunction malfunctioning. I can't get my words out. There's the text log. Technical Manual. And last but not least, we've got a node in the same room. Right there, six nodes in this chapter. All right, sorted. 
So we'll take a quick look at my logs in case you feel like you've missed anything. If this is the first playthrough on your save, then you should be missing one because of the one that is missable. Thank you very much for watching. I hope the video has helped you out. Let me know in that comment section if it is. 